Hello, good afternoon. My name is Bimbo. So, like I have been saying for some time now, that uh, this is the best time of the year for you to um, apply for admission, submit your document, and apply for admission. Also, uh, start verifying your document, among other things that I've been you know, saying since uh, December of last year. This is January now. This period is uh, the best period with which all schools, particularly in Portugal, usually release admissions because uh, schools in Portugal, uh, about 95% of them usually recruit for the September or October intake only. So which means for international applicants, they usually release the application on time because they believe that uh, you will need um, time to be able to uh, apply for visa because they believe that uh, you will come in to visa. That is why they usually release their applications in um, January, February, and March. So majority of the schools in Portugal usually release their application, especially the first phase application. They usually release it uh, January, February, and March. So it is if the first phase application that they throw out there is not fully filled, that is when they will release the second phase. So uh, don't bank on the, uh, on the second phase because if many people submit applications and many documents or many people were, were admitted into the first phase, and don't forget that uh, schools in Europe always have quota, meaning, for instance, if you want to apply for management, if the quota for management for that academic session is 30, once they pick 30 people for management for that academic session, it's over. So which means the first phase has been fully filled for all the quota that they have for that course. So don't bank on the second phase. That, oh, yeah, I want to wait for second phase. I want to wait for third phase or fourth phase. No, don't bank on those phases. The, the, the best phase to, I mean, the, the most competitive phase is the first phase. So which is usually released between January, um, February and March. So what I want to talk about today is to give you the timeline for each of the schools in Portugal when their admission period normally start. So that is what I want. I quick. I, that is what I've been researching for two days now. So I I, I compiled every deadlines, every the starting times of applications, the deadline for the first phase of all the schools or you know majority of the schools in Portugal that people usually you know go to in Portugal. So I just want to give you all these deadlines so that you don't miss the deadline because I, I, I've been receiving some, some, some chat on our Telegram group and you know even on, online asking, oh, when is so, 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 uh, admission coming out? When is this coming out? So that's why I want to put it out there. So when you know the admission deadline for each of the school, you'll be able to you know mark your calendar and then you'll be able to prepare your document accordingly. And if you are just uh, uh, watching my channel, this is Jackpa with your days. And my name is Bimbo. So if you don't know what this channel is all about, this channel is all about uh, providing you information, Jackpa opportunities to Portugal, to Austria, and other beautiful European countries where we believe that you are going to have a beautiful, a beautiful relocation experience. Yes, so today's opportunity or today's video is to give you uh, informations regarding all the schools, about 80 to 90 percent of the schools in Portugal, uh, the their application deadline that you can, you know, uh, prepare your document for submission. So that is what I want to I want to give you today. So yes, uh, just follow me, and then I will be able to. And don't forget, click and subscribe to the channel so that by the time we drop opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notifications. It's always very important that you subscribe to our channel. That is how we get momentum and the YouTube management sees that our channel is providing relevant information to the public. So come with me, come with me. Now, the first school that I'm going to be talking about today is the University of Porto, University of Porto. So you will see in my blue circle here that the University of Porto application has started since the since um uh, started january 4th of this month january 4th and it's going to be ending by uh 16th of february 16th of february and according to them by 
April, late, by 10th of April, latest, everybody would have been notified to know their you know, uh, application status, whether you have been admitted or not. Everybody would have known their faith by fourth, by sorry, by 10th of April, which is uh, uh, 04. So applications for University of Porto has already opened. Kindly note that note it down, note it down in your calendar. For it started 4th of January and it's going to end 16th of February. These are some of the courses, you know, I'm just going to give you some few courses that are taught in English. Now, management is taught in English, finance, economics, uh, economies of business and strategies, modeling, data analysis and decision support system, bioengineering, biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, uh, civil engineering structure, uh, ETC, even in PhD, economics management, those are the, some of the courses that are taught in English. So you can do more research to be able to, depending on your area of specialization, you can do more research to be able to know each of the courses that are taught in English. And for the same University of Porto, these are the required documents that you need to have available when you want to submit your applications for admission into any of the interested course or any of the courses that you are interested in. So that is that for University of Porto. Now, the next school that I want to talk about here is University of Mio. You will remember late last year, I did an interview with the International Student Representative of the Faculty of Economics and Management, and she shared an extensive information in terms of when the um, admission is going to be held for this academic session. And in fact, let me quickly mention this. All universities, particularly in Europe, but let me not, you know, let me not um, extend it to all universities in Europe. Let me, let me speak mainly for Portugal. All universities in Portugal have uh, almost, let me use the word, a rigid academic calendar. So which means the year in which, um, uh, the admissions comes out every every year is always the same thing. That is why you would remember that she said that their admissions is going to be is going to come out by March first of 2024. March first of 24. She said that during our interview, and you will see here that the the last year application started between March first to eighth of March. That is only for one week. The first, for the first, um, the first phase. Yes, that is the word. The first phase applications was released for only one week in at in University of Mio between March first to eighth of March. So, which means this year it's going to be the same thing between March first to eighth of March at the University of Mio. That is when their applications is going to be released for the first phase. So that is that for University of Mio. And, and like she's already said it, the courses that are taught in English, uh, finance, business and management, economics, those are, those are the courses that are taught in English for the faculty of economics and management. And of course, other faculties, you can check, research them, and you'll be able to see uh, what courses are taught in English for each of these faculty. Now, Let's check University of Lisbon. University of Lisbon. Now, there are applications for the first phase. You see the first phase here. The first phase application started January 2nd, and it's going to end by February 9th. It started University of Lisbon. You see, this is University of Lisbon. It started January 2nd to February 9th. It's going to last until February 9th. So it has already started. So if you are interested in University of Lisbon, this is the best time. And second phase is going to start between April 3rd to May 24th. Why third phase is yet to be determined. That is what this TBD means, yet to be uh, to be determined. So, but like I said, don't bank on second or third phase. Go straight. If you want to jack by this year, go straight for the first phase applications. So it is. it now depends on the course that you're interested in for master, for PhD, as well, we determine uh, your submission, but note it down in your calendar, January 2nd to February 9th, University of Lisbon. Now, in the same University of Lisbon, at this, this deadline is for faculty of uh, um, science, 
uh, is for Faculty of Science, but I think for all faculty, the the admissions, um, the admission timeline, the starting time and the ending time is the same from my findings. So the same University of Lisbon, ICIG, which is responsible for social sciences, management, economics, and all of those kind of courses. Now, uh, they, they, are, they are doing what is called an open day uh, for which, of course, if you have any um, questions relating to courses like accounting, economics, finance, you know, data analysis, you know, name it, all courses in the faculty of uh, management, economics, or, you know, they call it Lisbon School of Economics and Management, ICIG. So if, if you are interested in any of these courses there, so they are um, open day from when you can ask questions, any, you know, ask, I, I get all your concerns, answers, it's going to be open from the 23rd, from 23rd of, um, of January up until 26th of January. That is when you can have all your questions answered. Then they have, um, uh, uh, you can, uh, you will also see a session on their, you will also see a session for all the list of courses taught in English in University of Lisbon or in this, uh, in Lisbon School of Economics and Management, Accounting, Actuarial Science, Applied Econometrics, Finance, Management, you know, list it all courses taught in English, you will see a session there. Once you click on this, you will see the list of courses taught in English. Once you click on this, you will see li the list of courses taught in Portuguese. But I'm sure most African uh, applicants will be interested in those taught in English. Now, the uh, another school that I'm going to be talking about here is University of Agalve. University of Agave. Already, University of Agave also has started applications. And I, I think some of my clients have, you know, we've submitted application already for some of my clients. And uh, yes, the application started uh, um, 5th of January for first phase, and it's going to last up until the 31st of January. Yes, first phase application has already started. It's going to start it's going to last up until the 31st of January. So if you are interested, and of course they have uh, about five to four courses taught in English at the University of Agave, and also many bio biotechnology, biomedical, you know, a, a lot of courses taught in, in English, also in the sciences, in, in management, they have, uh, um, as, uh, yes, the, the, the Faculty of Social Sciences, they have courses like, uh, tourism and development, management, you know, a host of them taught in English. So uh, they, 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 uh, I, they, they, there's another video anyway, where I talked about a list of courses taught in English in each of the schools. But today, what I just want to talk about is the deadline for each of the school. And like I said, most schools in Portugal maintain the same academic calendar for each of their applications Phases. So this is the first phase applications that I, I just want to talk about. And like I said, January, February, and March is the timeline between when each of these schools release application. So that is for University of Agave. Now let's talk of University of Aveiro. Yes, University of Aveiro. The first phase of application for University of Aveiro is going to start by February 20th. And it will last. It will last up until the third of March, twenty twenty four. Yes, third of March, twenty twenty four. Don't. Uh, this is the this is the general academic calendar. So that's why you are still seeing twenty twenty three year. That's because it's not yet released. So and uh, like I said, they meant they have the same rigid academic calendar. So which means if they if they recruited people, uh. February 20th of last year and uh, up until March 3rd of 2023. So the same thing is going to happen for 2024. So you need to note that down as well. That is for University of Averu. And don't forget each of these school fees, you can also pay them up to 10 times. And uh, these schools have very low tuition fees. Yes, very, very low and affordable tuition fees. So that is for University of Averu. Now, let's talk about University of Evora. 
Yes, University of Evora applications usually start, the first phase application usually start between 15th of February of every year. 15th of February of every year. And it lasts up until 15th of uh, March, which, you know, that means it, uh, it's, it's going to last for about a month. The applications is going to be open for about a month for master's and for PhD. So uh, 15th of February of next month, that is when the application is going to be open, University of uh, Evora. So uh, you can, uh, courses like uh, philosophy, biochemistry, informatics, those are the courses that are taught in English, in you know, and of course you have to do your own personal research depending on the type of course that you are looking for. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in management, so that's why I am mostly interested in courses like that to see if they are taught in English. So if you are in the sciences, engineering, and the like, you have to look for each of these courses and see their language of instruction. So that is that for uh, University of Evora. Note them down in your calendar the application timeline for each of these schools. Thank you. So now let's talk about the last school that I'm going to be talking about today is the ISCTE. Yes, ISCTE, University of Lisbon. ISCTE, University of Lisbon. Yes, so the University of Lisbon application started 18th of December, 2023, and it's going to last until 31st of January, 2024. Yes, 18th of December, 2023, up until 31st of January, 2024. That is when the application is going to last. And I think the school, the way they run the school, you know, just my own perception of people that are, I know schools there. The, the school is, uh, I think it's a private school. Uh, them and the Catholic University, yes, they, they, I think it's a private school. Because, I mean, look at the school fees also. Uh, first year, 7,000. Second year, you pay 2,000. So that's for masters anyway, but that is that. And of course, you can also pay them. Almost all schools, regardless of private or public, almost all schools here, you have opportunity to pay school fees up to 10 times for non-EU nationals. So uh, that is that. So Catholic University is there. You know, there are other, you know, polytechnics, universities out there, but this is usually the most famous universities. The six or seven of them that I've mentioned are usually the most famous universities that people come into Portugal or apply to, to Portugal. So that's why I decided to mention or give you the admission timeline for each of their application submissions for master's and for PhD. So you also have to do your extensive research to be able to uh, uh, you know, gather more information, more documentations that you will need to be able to apply for this admission. I'm sure if you've um, followed us to this timeline, that means this video is, uh, is very important to you. It provided you some essential uh, information. So that means that uh, we we've been able to impact your uh, your jackpot journey or relocation journey positively. Please help us to like and subscribe to our channel. That is how the YouTube management sees that our channel is providing relevant information to the public. And that is how we remain uh, relevant to the YouTube management. Thank you once again. So like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring you opportunities like this, you will be the first to get notifications, follow all our social media channels so that by the time we drop information and hints, you will be the first to get notification. Once again, it was a pleasure bringing this opportunity away. Thank you very, very, very much. Bye-bye now.